Umetokoa na kutuisha Umetuganga na kutulisha Wati miliza mambo yetu Bwana Watu sambe Watu wako watu Na tuise tu Wadili zako Bwana Nizamilele Mateno yako kwetu Ni maku Fadili zako Bwana Nizamilele Mateno yako kwetu Tulipotoka Tulipotoka Mbali Umetuzingi la pande zote Kono wako umetutowa mahali Si salama Wewe ndiwe mungu Wama isha ya mungu Ine emma yako tu Nikusuli la Kwa 
It is Father's Day. Fathers are very special people. And for me, as a community, we have ignored our fathers. If today was Father's Day, kwa social media, kwa TV, kila pahali ni Mother's Day. Without the fathers, can we have mothers? So fathers are very special, and we thank God for the fathers who are in this house. And because tuera mo mudo tati yana yana doni na oi kuruga, I am so grateful I have come to this specific place because I have learned a lot of things. I was trying to imagine as you can see I'm much older, even in our church, where we would allow young people to dance. It cannot, it could not have happened. But as we are being told, we need to change. If we don't change, change will change us. So, this is the month for international pride. And we are calling it Idanda. And we have a theme. The theme for 2022 is addressing drugs challenges in health and humanitarian crisis. So it's so international that we have realized globally we have a drug problem. So when I was told that I was coming to talk here, a lot of things went through my mind. Nikajuliza vitu mingi sana. Na nikaambiwa itakuwa vyema nitengeneze presentation because most of you are able to see my presentation. But ni chachanganya, kizungu na kiswahili. Kuna vijana wameniambia ni yonge shempe tegi. Shempe tegi ni gani tena? Kuna hile na siki na hituwa shempe tegi. Iko wapi hiyo, hiyo sijui. Lakini kikuwa ni kambiki kito na weza wenda. So, walk with me, go with me. If you feel you have a burning question, kuna karatasi ime. Kuwa, just write your question, pass it here. So, as the patron was talking about me, I, I was feeling like um, what I'm more. I run an organization called Elewa Ulevi. Elewa Ulevi, that you are the youth who are here, sir, he is understand addiction. So, my organization in Aitwa Hifo, Elewa Ulevi. Na kwa nini ni hita Elewa Ulevi? Sababu nataka watu wa Elewa Ulevi. Na, can you do for me the presentation, please? Um, nataka watu wa Elewa Ulevi. Kabla nifike hapa, nilikuwa munguzi na nilifanya kazi hospitali ya Nagare. Meaka kumi na nane. 18 years I worked in Madare Hospital. So I went in Madare Hospital in the 1997. My big brother was using alcohol and drugs. So for me, I was able to get it. I was able to In the process of Kuelewa, what was able to get it? 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 na wale watu tulifundishwa nao walikuwa wanaume wote nilikuwa wanamke peke yangu lakini kwa hiyo darasa i found myself doing so well in class because i needed to understand this thing from there nikawa tunaendelea kuelewa ulevi kufunzwa maneno mengi lakini kuna kisomo si kufunzwa kwa vitabu nilifunzwa kwa kufanya kazi madhara Watu wengi hata vile nimesema nifanya kazi madhara. Umefikiria aje sasa vile umeniona na nifanya kazi madhara. Si umeanza kunishuku already. Already mna nishuku. Huu mama hapo sawa. Madhara miaka 18. Hapo shuka kufiatuka. Miaka 18. Na 
nikwambie madhara ilinifunza vitu sikiwaifunzwa na mtu mwingine kitu ya kwanza ilinifunza kila mtu ni wa muhimu a human person sio kwa sababu kwa kwa hii church ndio kwa maana hata mwenye ulipita pale ama kwa mtoa ameanguka huyo ni mtu na he's a human person and she is huyo jirani yako mnaletana juu muone na macho ya ni mtu kama wewe ili nifundisha to respect humans the first word we hear in the tongue word nine word nine is the biggest word in madhara biggest at one point nilikuwa na 100 patients nataka uone niko kwa word ni wanaume those days are was small sikuwa mkubwa kama hivi was a small town very small watu walikuwa ta wanashinda huyu ataweza hiyo kazi imagine na achiwa wanaume 100 na wote wamefia tuka for lack of a better word na wote tu imagine lazima uwape dawa lazima uhakikishe wameoga lakini uhakikishe mwenye ana kidonda kimefungwa lazima uhakikishe hawapigani wenyewe lazima uhakikishe kila mtu atakula so ikawa umepewa jukumu iko juu sana na watu wabafanani ungeingia upate mtu hagozi na wao anasema ah si wamezoea wacha wakae huko wanawaidlo because they are sick where i come from i come from ozero i'm born in ozero my parents had taught me one thing hakuna kitu ya maana kama mtu yoyote and my mother in particular unasemanga kama uanya bebe that guy used to live huko kwetu bali kulikuwa kunaitwa lakofu kama uanya bebe alikuwa na jigas mpaka huko jigas huko kwa everywhere alikuwa anafaa manguo mingi kwa hivyo obviously he has schizophrenia but watu wako wanaijua siku hizo when he would come by at the time kwetu mama alikuwa anamuita anamuosha mikono anamwekea sahani ya wageni chakula na chai na thamos na ile bika ya kitabu na wanaongea na yeye remember you was sick it was very that ni kumdogo sana maybe 5 years na kiuliza kwa nini tukiwa huko nje tukiwa watoto tuna muindianga vibaya tuna mdharau lakini akikuja nyumbani mama yangu anamtaka sana na kumbuka hata mama yangu akimtoa hizo kutu za huko na bini na anamwagia mafuta ya taa god mafuta ya taa ni ile inayoagiwa So kutoka sasa hapo nikaanza kujua usiweke watu na great mtu ni mtu kwa hivyo si tukamea hivyo tukijua kila mtu ni important so kukuja madare nikakaa hiyo word word nine kukaa kidogo nikasikia wagonjwa wenyewe wakimita sister nice sijui nilifanya nini walikuwa wanaulizwa nani amefanya ni sister nice nani alifanya hawakujua jina yangu kwa walishinda huyu ni nani ana mechi watu meoga ana hakikisha tunakunywa dawa akiona mtu akona kidonda lazima afunge sasa wakashindwa kwani huyu ametoka wapi nataka nao na tuongee na sina haraka na sichelewa mjo so wenyewe wakaanza kuita sister nice ikafika pahali watu wakaongezana yetao ni nini anafanyanga na hapa watu kwa nini wanamkuta sister nice kukaka hiyo jina ilishika mpaka huko Kosovo huko kwa madhara kwa salamu mimi ningeenda kwa salamu na kuna kitu nafanywa asistanize uko aje leo bado una cheki wasee uko bado una wacheki awe ni wetu sauti ya mimi iko siwe ni wao kwa hivyo ni muhimu sana tupende watu vile wako just respect people kwa tunaambiwa wote tumeumbwa kama Mungu we are the image of God so usiangalie mtu na ubaya na hakuna kitu kibaya tunasema tunapenda Mungu hatujai kuona lakini sikupendi wewe na kuona how is that if i can't love if i can love god who i cannot see how will i tell people that you who i see i don't even love you i don't even care about you you are brother and you are sister sio mwenye mlizaliwa nao ni wenye uko nao sasa that is your brother that is your sister do and to others as you like them to do and to you so leo mimi nataka kuongelea maneno ya ulevi 
na nataka kuiangalia tofauti na vile mnajua. Kwa hiyo unajua mnajua lakini tofauti kidogo. Na tunasema hapa kina yetu kwamba ati uh, maneno ya dawa za kulevya iko juu sana. Tunaambiwa anyone uwe uko kwa kanisa, uwe uko nje ya kanisa, uwe we ni mtu mtoto mdogo, uwe we ni mzee, hakuna mtu hawezi kuwa affected na dawa za kulevya. Kwa hivyo tunaambiwa Kenya yetu wale watu wanasoma, wale watu wako shuleni wengi wao wamekuwa affected sababu ya substance ama drug use. Na the worst thing na kada imefanya research ikatuambia 49% of students within Nairobi schools wamejaribu one drug or another. That's a very high number. Na ukijaribu dawa moja ama nyingine tutaziona wengi wao wameshikwa na ugonjwa wa addiction na ndio tunasema chemically dependent. So hapo tushasoma nataka tuone hiyo alafu tuendelee na kusoma. Ya 
Mimi narudi jioni anakuja saa tano Sasa tumeonania wapi? Asubuhi anatoka 5 tumeonania wapi? Tunaona kwa saa kidogo sana. Kidogo sana. Sasa ikawa zote tuko kwa nyumba. Hayo ndio kaanza kuongea vibaya matusi. Watu wanaona tu pesa itapotea. Because kila mtu alishikia kile alikuwa nayo. Hapa ndio exposure ilifikia sana. Because watu wengi wenye walikuwa wamezoea kukunywa huko walinunua pombe wakaleta kwa nyumba. Na kuna teenagers. Nitaambia mzazi wote hapo hapa, ikiwa uko na pombe kwa nyumba sio house girl yako anakunywa hiyo pombe. Sio driver tu uko na driver. Sio shamba boy, ni mtoto wako wa miaka saba anakunywa hiyo pombe. Ni mtoto wako wa miaka sita. Kos anaangalia vile mama mkunywa, anaona vile unaanza kucheka cheka hapo vile umekunywa. Anaona umesema na relax. Wacha bichi china wachiki. So, wakaku exposed. Then, social media. Social media is a double-edged sword. Iko na usuku wake, lakini ubaya wake ni kama umekufa wewe, especially the young people. Because unaambiwa vitu, unaanza kuwa mimi. Unaona mtu, anaomba gari yangu, anapiga picha hapo, hajafikisha hata miaka 22. Watu wale wanamuona wanasema hey, fulani ameomoka. Maana hivi ya kwa ndai kali. Gani na sio yake lakini akiweka kwa social media wenye wanamuona hawajui hivyo. Kwa hivyo watoto wetu sasa wanasema you either get rich or die trying. So Kenya exposure to social media. Gender based violence. And we say that our are very good. Tuko na gap when it comes to the boy child tangu jadi tumekuwa na so many beautiful things and by the way I'm a mama of girls I don't have a son so I should not complain when girls are being empowered but to come down we empowered our girls have we empowered the boy child until now we are trying now so what is happening the girls were men are better sana but the boy child what is he being exposed to Many bad things. The aggression that the young men have, it's not coming now. It may talk about it some. So they have grown up being exposed to violence. So then they know to solve a problem with violence. They don't know anything else. So the gender-based violence, kakuja, exposure to sexual exposure, kakua so much teenage pregnancy. The empowered girls got pregnant. My shock was, but to the end of the year, how was it done? To cast a how, we should have talked to who was making the girls pregnant. That is the boy child. We did not talk to him. Nobody told him anything. Why he go? At the end of the year, but the way that was done, me ma. To kisoma sociology, to na biwa hivi. Kwa hii, to say me kwa hapa, to kwa hapa chini water, to kwa sisi water ni wa mama. Hapa chini water ni wa mama. Papa water, all men in the world go through. Lakini tubaki a thousand women on earth. Kubaki wana ume mmoja. Wana umetu mmoja. Dunia hayezi nisha. Unajue hivyo? Dunia hayezi nisha. Na wana ume ni mkani? Lakini wa mama ni elfu mo? Dunia hayezi nisha. Lakini kungekua na ume elfu mmoja. Na wana mke mmoja. Hiyo dunia itaisha. Watakufa wote na waisha. Because mama akishika mimba, kabla kiezi tisa yiishe, vyo mtoto mungini ya patikana, na wezi patikana immediately. Dunia itaisha. Kwa hivu saa fingine, tuna focus lesson to the wrong person. We should be focusing to the man, to the boy child. We raise him up, ajipende, akwe na high self-esteem, diwa wache hii vita tunaongea. Then, something else happened, apart from the teenage pregnancy. Gambling. Mimi naishi nironi. Na vile niliambio na kuja PCA, kasa nani, niko na ujua jitidogo. One of my daughters, yao, mnaita IT groups. Aka niambia, mamu, leche yo simu. Hivyo chacho naenda. Nikawekewa, nikawekewa, huku papu, nikasetiwa. Nikawambia, utafinya hapa, start. Utakupeleka paka chacho. Nilijibata PCA kasa nani. Na hapa hivi. Si hapa, ingine, si hivi ni gani. Kuingia huko na wambia miti nina kuja kufuza.
Ya penampil mereka dari apa yang kata dari apa? The spirit was mysterious. Bila ni mereka kahani, kuka kuja kahani kama sita di mayamba. Sasa apa ni kahani di sisa? Eh, ni tanong kahani. Then I ran si omko. Ni yu hapa. So ni kawuliza wiyo watchman. Sasa hapa ni tanong kahani. Nakanyamea mamu, wacha tufanya hindi. Wacha tukuitia mze mboja hapa nani. Haku uje kajaribu. Haku tole gani yako. Kawamea kwa ni we wezi. Tatua hati gani wewe. Kamambia mi naeza toa. Fale mi, ah, sisi amini. Sasa nisomja. Haamini mi naeza toa. Thank God, nikaweza toa niyo nikafika hapa. Haite, kwa hivyo tunasema, kungu ina tusaibia. So there is something good about social media. The same social media stories are gambling. Kwa hivyo ni ustishen ni oyote. Zenye tunasikuliza hata na zenye naibaga kuongea. Naibaga kuongea kwa hivyo. Sazingine nini? Unambio wekelea mia? Uwini nini? Ikelea ke? Sasa wewe na ule gambla anaenda kwa kasino difference kwa wapi? Hakuna nga difference. Na wenye sisi, tunasema sisi watu wa mungu. Tunambiwa pale kwa msalaba. Zile nguo za Yesu Kristu. Wale askari walifana nini? Walichezea nguo karata. Ndiyo wakawane. So it's something that is not even allowed. Gambling is a sin. But sasa, kila wendi. Kwanza, mwushtuka sana nukwa kisema, ati ni mungu wa memusaidia kubi gambling. Naji, uko muko serious. That is a vice. And a very bad vice. Sasa tumekua gamblers. Sisi already tukwa walevi. Sasa ingisha gambling. Ingisha gaming. Gaming saa yote gaming, akiliyaki kwa yote inabemwa. Pornography ndiyo hiyo sasa. Yuhu ndi umetuwa hindiya wa vijana wetu kapisa, kapisa, kapisa. Na ukiwa na siku hiyo yote, ni raisi sana uigia hapo. Lakini enda maju. Jari mkwenda yuke, wenye mkwa hapa mwetrafe. Jari mkwenda kuingia saiti hiyo yote huko. Sistemi yako yote inafugangwa. Singu, ikiwa ni iPad, ikiwa ni nini, automatically inajipanga. Because ina kuuliza maswali niki kabla ukingi. Ikiwa ni watoto wa UK yama US. My brothers and sisters wanaishi US. Wakona teenagers. Nika wawusa muna control isi simu wanji. Wakani ya mbea, hakuna pahani wanaeza UK ya. Nika wawusa my brother wanamanisha hati. Akani ya mbea, huyu my niece, my, now my niece. Melissa kingia kwa simu, kajaribu kuingia ene sites ya hizo vitu. Na tumimu wa message kama baba yake, hiyo message ingine inatumu wa kwa shule, ayende kansi, akasaidiwe. Kujaribu kuingia, hawezi kumani watoto wao waone. Huku kwetu, watoto wetu wa meingia, na tunajiuliza shida sinatoka wapi. Incest ni kakuja, kustuifungiwa hapa moja. Kitambo, we grew up with our cousins, first cousins, some other relatives. Siku hizi, those cousins, those first cousins of our children, are the ones who are taking advantage of them. Then, child labor. Kuna watu wali design, hey, shule inyefungu wa kwa uwa. Sasa, nimepata watu wakulimanga, wakulipeleanga, chakula, in a negative way. You can teach children chores. And of course, something, as Christians, we don't talk about homosexuality and lesbianism. We have to talk about these things. All of them are to see, okay? Because in a to affect us, affect the bias alone. Na tunasepa when we allow people freedom, then there is no control. Why? Even in a car, ukipewa edesha gani na ina control, you're going to die. So this is what is happening. Parents wa sikuizi, kuna generation katha. The original generation in Itangwa, the silent generation. Hiyo ni wazazi wetu. My mother is in the age. I found what she is still alive. Yeah, yeah, it was silent generation. What was 1934? Now, World War II. Then, to Nakuja, the baby boomers, you know, generation in Guinea. After two, World War II, what I want to have you to talk about World War I, what I could have a Kazama Sana, you know, you know, baby boomers. How do you want to have They are only seen. They cannot be heard. So, in a generation, you may put up. Generation yetu sasa inatoka baby boomers yetu. Kuna wai generation, 
Then kuna the millennials. Hiyo ndio imeshika sana. Kutoka millennials tunakuja this generation ya yeyo. Hii generation ndio sisi wenyewe kama wazazi wa hiyo generation tuko na shida kidogo. Na shida iko hapa. My daughters have children. Nini ni shoes? Na kuna kitu nafurahia kama kuwa shoes. Being a grandmother is the best thing that happened to me. Hakuna hata kuna jana kwa shoes na tano automatically. Shoes tutapata tu ni tano. Hakuna kitu hata mama anaweza hata kuitika. Lakini shoes lazima niitike. It happens which has blessed me with grand children. Now this is what I have observed. Our young people are here, the young mothers. Mtoto anazaliwa kijana, tunamwitanga aje? Small boy. What do you call your sons? Papa. Eh, hey, thank you. Kapapa. Dadi, kapapa. What do you call your daughters? Kama. Kama. Mama. What do you call each other? Baby. Sasa nini ndio watoto? Si nini ndio watoto? Si mnaitanaga pep. Alafu baba ndio huyu, mama ndio huyu. Baba na mama ndio kusema. Baba akisema asubuhi leo haendi kanisa. Hata enda si baba amesema. Baba anakaa. Mami kama mimi akisema mimi sivai hiyo nguo na sivai kama mimi kana nguo. Eh mami sana utavaa gani? Mami akisema mimi sikuli hiyo. Tumepika pancake. Ah 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 mimi sikuli hiyo. Mimi nakula sausage. Na wewe babes unasema kitu kile cha nyanyaka. Si nini babes? Hawa ndio wazazi. I want you to ask yourself. Ikiwa una controlliwa na hawa na nyinyi ndio watoto. Hiyo familia iko aje? Inaitwa role reversal. Reversal ni kwamba hawa watoto ndio kusema. So you as a parent you have lost being a guardian. And you need to be a guardian. So who mtoto ndio ana control? I'm so impressed in this church na una watoto wako so calm wako na kaona fulani kuna chachu na endaka ikutu mimi chachis unaona mtoto anakubia naanza kurola hapa mene anarola anaitua mami kama mi si mama na mama yake na ya anakubia hapo anaanza kubebeleza na people are just looking and I'm telling myself where have we lost it so can we become parents parents are guardians unaonyesha watu njia so usiwachigie mtoto the difference is shida inikuja School iko na structure. Shule mtoto anajua nikiamka saa hii nitafanya hivi, nifanye hivi, nifanye hivi, nitalala saa ngapi. Vile watoto walikuja nyumbani hakukuwa structure. Mtu alikuwa analala akitaka, anakula akitaka, anashinda kwa TV akitaka, anaenda kwa mabesti zake akitaka. That's how we lost the children. Those nine months. Vile walirudi shule, you remember what happened. They could not fix. Yet they were with their parents. Yet the parent was the biggest guardian ever. So we need to ask ourselves, even today, why has the issue of drug become so big then? It is big because us as the parents to me to papao to yoko. Us as the guardians to me to papao to yoko. And for the young people, as you see them dancing here, then they see things and they do them. They see and they learn. So what they see is what they learn. It's not what you say. And I remember in my office, I have four offices. My head office is in Limuru. Who you mze ameleta kijana yake, ametumwa na shule, kijana atupiwa dawa za kulevia. Mze tu, anakuja kwa ofisi, imeandikwa elewa ulevi, na of course imeandikwa no smoke. Anawasha sigara na niya ofisi. Anavuta na niya niya. Takutani niko na stress. Kuni mtoto, ana nikea stress. Sasa, hii vitu unapima. And you see, the boy is sitting there, anakalia tu mudake. Anakalia tu, I look at the young man, nasikidiza the father, my P anakonesha, no smoke inside, kwa hatu kumput off, batu anayenelea. Then the boy tuwa ina na ye session, akanambia dog, Munda na kuwaka serious, kawambia kwa nini? Sia na choma zake, sivi ni chome zamu. Shinda iko? Shinda iko wapi dog? Sasa hata, anamisi, he's not being smokes. It's a role model. So we need to be careful as far as what we are doing. So, I simply do a very small exercise. Tunaambi wata kwa kanisa, 
All this time you have come to the Kanisa, you have come to the Kanisa. Isn't that so? I'm sure you've been preached and preached and preached. Kuna wenye tuna change, kuna wenye hatu change. Sindio? So I want us to do something very small as we make a hifo. Especially the congregation. See how I call you my own. Since ni kuje, I think ni mesa ni mua tuna watu kundi. Kutoka ni kuje hapa, PCA, CAECO. Ni mua mna hituwa? CAECO. She ama C. CAECO. Action. Is that what it means? Yes. Tasa si mchukwe mkona juu ni salimie. Ni salimie ni? Si mchukwe salimie. Kuna wasa ya pala juu na nifanya hivi. Hivi bae. Ni salimie ni pay high five. Si ni pay high five. Hai. Ni pay high five ni furahi. Ni peneke salamu home high five. High five ni kosawa. So touch your cheek. Touch your cheek. Touch your cheek. Kwa ni mna chika hapa? Si chiki kwa huku. Walini nyota kwa shikiki hapa? Nyote. Mawa cheki. Nyote. Nami machiki marangapi, lakini umeshika wapi, kwa nini? Because that is what I'm doing. So, you are the role model. What you do is not what your child will do. So, when you go unavuta fengi, ukiamia mtoto wako, miswa hitu wa shule, unavuta banki. It doesn't make sense to them. So, can we be good role models? So, when we are talking of drugs, tunasema ni kemikali hile ya yote. Ikiwako kwa mwili, through a defined model, ita change vile mwili yako hiko. Kwanza, physically. Vile mwili tu hiko, unajuanga huu mtu wako na mashida flani. Cognitively, ni akili. Vile ina reason. Vile ni mawambia, sisi ni watu wa katoliki. Kuna verse moja tunajuanga ya Bible. Zuri sana. Jesus changed water into what? Hiyo akuna mkatoliki ya juhi. Kisi zingine zote ya juhi wangu. Lachini hiyo, lazima tuju. Now, mimi sikuduwa nkipombe, although watu wengi wanasema na kama mlevi, na kama mlevi, watu wengi wanasema na kama mlevi, na kama mlevi, kiasi, somehow, I'll tell you why na kama mlevi. Nikikana wa levi, kuna kitu wawo niambia kuhu sikuka sana. Wakianza kukunyu wama ikosawa, wanaongea sikuwa, wakini mga kukunyu wana kumisa suya, tume kukosea. Susan, umekasirika, wanaanza kujishu. Kwa nini akili yao umebadilika kompiliti? Yunasigenda mlevi, ana chochote, anaimba vile ya kona ngombe, vile ya kona nini, vile ya kona mali, vile ya nitajiri, sababu akili yake imefanya nini? Umebadilika. Isa ikologika ni na emotional, kwa nevi wengi huwa wana, ikiwa mlevi alitoka kwa dini, hakaenda kulewa. Musha masikia watu ima kiko mshua walezi. Unajua hile kitu ilipandu wa kutazima itatoka tu. Lakini amelewa chakali. Lakini anaweza kupigia kiko mshua usuke. Hata kwa baa nyingi ukisikiliza. Wanapigana kiko mshua sana. Nuhu chukiliza kwa nini wanapigia kiko mshua. Siwa pigia hizo zao. Kwa nini? Because they are searching for God. Because emotional wanasini wako empty. Kuna chitu wanataka ikuwe ndani yao. And of course behavior. Bihini ni wanapagia mtu wanatumia kitu. Na wale wa mama wote wako hapa. Mungu wa mewapea the sixth sense. Ikiwa umeka hapa na wengi mama. Na kuna siku ulilala hivi. Ukiomba. Kitu na kwambia mtoto wako anatumia dawa na kumedi. You are right. Anatumia. You are right. We mutakuja kiku confirm wetu. Because mamas see things. The behavior. Unajua mtoto wako sana. Uta sense. Kuna vitu wa ziyeni zinezi matua kuweta. Why am I not bringing the fathers? Fathers, mungu aliwanima hiyo six cents. They are providers. Nilienda shule mwaja huko Muranga. Very big school, boys school. Over a thousand boys. Parent day, HGM. Nikaenda, nikambio niongeti ya drugs. Randomly, nikachukua wa baba. It's a boys school. 70% wa women, 30% wa men. Na walikuwa mayabiwa ikiweze kama because the boys who let the farmers come. But the women were more. Randomly kama vile niko hapa. Nika chukua mse mboja. Nika mwambi, eh, si mama niambie kijana hapa kufo. Jina yake, alizaliwa nini, his best subject, his worst subject, the color he loves most. Huyo mse akasimama kasema, eh, huyo kijana yangu, he's around 17, 16. Eh, yako, Anakuwa kwa mtu, so he's looking at the wife. Na mambu usiangalia mtu. 
hapo form 2 hivi eh mimi naona ametenda english anaongea na english vizuri sana eh siku ya kuzaliwa eh hiyo siwezi jua random i think that that man same thing for me hakuna mmoja alijua birthday ya mtoto wao they were not in the show of the year they are own sons na wamekuja ATM random ni kachukua wa mama sema anakuambia kitu kama e, kijana yangu english ndio ametenda his best color is this he was born mpaka date sasa wazee wakasema wewe daktari si wao ndio waliza lazima wajue date lazima wajue but what i was bringing out ni vile women are connected to their children because of god sio ni mungu ameweka hivyo but we are talking now to become intentional fathers hata sisi tuweze kuconnect vizuri na watoto wetu kuna tu hapa anauliza what is psychoactive every time i go to talk about drugs kuna watu wanasema eh ongea juu ya chai ongea juu ya kahawa sita ongea juu za ya hizo they are not psychoactive psychoactive ni ile dawa yoyote you put it in your system it changes your mind in a chocha brain kusai kusai ni brain active ni kuchocha so world health organization wana tuandika any chemical substance when taken into the body alters the function physically or psychologically mimi napenda the next guy anaitwa Kivanik ana capture sisi kama wa Kenya anasema it's in this substance people consider to be a drug with the understanding that this will change from culture to culture and from time to time I have an office in Chuka, Meru. And I'm always in Meru. When I'm photo social media, utaniona niko Meru sana. Lakini kuna kitu nimefundishwa huko. Ukienda kufundisha drugs, unaambiwa fundisha zote. Ukifika Meru unaambiwa ruka hiyo. Na mimi una inaitoka kwa vibaya sana. Unaambia if you are going to talk about Meru, talk about tea and coffee. Is it a drug? Yes, it is a drug. But culturally, how are you mean it drug? So we need to understand tutawapatia time because also for us to have an office there ni ile shida wa kunani na dawa za kulevya because he ni ligo hata mtoto akikuta tupime huko meru office a test positive for mena baba yake anafurahi sana na anambia ah daktari si unaona kijana wangu atumii dawa za kulevya na mera iko positive lakini yeye mera si dawa ya ya kulevya so hiyo anafuta bank ya kama anakuja moja and it's true that it hata leta shida mwalimu hata leta shida so tunaambiwa any time you take any drug ile kitu inakuwa affected the most is the brain na ndio tunasema addiction is a brain disease watu wengi wenye wako na shida ya addiction pia wako na underlying mental health problem kama wa Afrika hatujawahi amini ati mtu anaweza kuwa na shida ya akili bila kurogwa bila kuangaliwa na macho mbaya bila watu wao hawakutoa ruhusa sijui gani si unajua zile vitu tunajibea na excuses vile vile uko na asthma vile vile uko na hypertension vile vile uko na diabetes unaweza pata shida ya akili hakuna hewa bila mental health siku hizi imekuwa was because watoto wamekuwa exposed sana to trauma kwa hiyo tunaona watoto wa saba wakijua by the time somebody is killing themselves wako na depression already so tunaambiwa kama Kenyans tuwe tunaelewa sisi kama wazazi we are the first line of defense ndio watoto wetu wasitumie dawa za kulevya kwa objectives ni kwa nimeambiwa what is the way forward number one, stability ya familia is the first thing that we make sure who you don't have to pata shida ya dawa za kulevya familia the more unstable the family is the more issues utapata kwa hiyo familia what do i mean tunaambiwa wale watoto wako na good role models na role model si yangu hivi uniona hapa nje mimi ni role model hapa nje so nikikuja hapa kisi uzani na mzee yake hii wanakuanga the role model kila kitu tukifika kwa nyumba mtu na twix watoto ndio wanajua what goes on 
So the children, if they are dysfunctional, they will not let me see. Dysfunctionality of our children, the source is from where they are coming from. So how do people use drugs? Orally. Mugoka, ombe, cigara, banki, kuna hizo. Kuna mengine wanaweka kwa mapua, wana, wana sleeve, glue, uh, heroin, kikuye netuwa crystal meth, kuna kundani na lewa. Kuna mengine wanaweka kwa mshipa, intravenous. By the time you are going already have a fit addiction. Because you are going to the highest high as a pattern. When you are going to take a muscle, you are going to take a muscle between 6 to 8 hours. You are going to take a muscle. When you are going to take a muscle, you are going to take a muscle. You are going to take a muscle. You are going to take a muscle. Wengine wanaweka kwa vagina na wengine wanaweka topical kama elastoplast. Unaona mtu akona ka elastoplast analewa between 6 to 8 hours. Hapo ka elastoplast kanaitwa PCP na zimefika huko kwetu. Hii ulevi ni ugonjwa. Lakini haikuwangi ugonjwa la siku ya kwanza. Inaanza inatembea, inatembea. Kwa hivyo kabla mtu afike na kupata hii mgonjwa ikuwe hailezi rubi niyuma atakuwa ametumia kwa muda vile ameendelea kutumia liyo mgonjwa inamungia pole, 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 pole na liyo tunaita substance induced disorder kumanisha kama hange tunia hange kuwa na hiyo mgonjwa ama hange kuwa na hiyo wazini kwa mini tu focus na adolescent Kenya program tunasema ni ya prevention. Tunafocus na adolescent because tume notice wanakuwa influence raisi sana na their peers, na the social media na zile maneno wanaona makuwa. So, tunaambiwa the major problem ya having as a country ni sazile adolescent wetu wanaanza kutumia miadarati. Kwa hivyo, maneno ya hiyo substance use disorder, kujiuwa hiyo tumeona sana kukataa shule, wanaanza kukua kriminal, tunambiwa drugs and criminals go together. Kwa nataka hiyo kitu na sina, nitafanya nini silita iba, nitapiga mtu geta. Niliona kijana huko kwetu, aliuza ngombe ya mama yake elifutano, ngombe ya over 100,000. Mama yake anza kufungia vitu, kwa za likuwa na chuko kiacha panga, inje imeenda, viatu, Mama yake ya kifuwa nguwa na zikalisha, zika uke. Kijana yake ya taanuma hende ya use. So, siku moja siya mebiwa kufungia vitu wakaenda kwa kanisa. Kijana aliuza mwende yake ya nifutamu. Akunwe pombe. That is how sick somebody gets. So, tunambiwa, kuna kuwa ata shida za shule and rest. Kuna hizi ni hadarati. Na, of course, our ways in performance are here. So, tunambiwa, ukiwa adolescent, uwaze kutumia ni hadarati. Chances ya wea kuwa addict in a when you are not very high. So high that sahib ni mesmama hapa. Wale clients wengi na wana kwa ofisi, ni vijana walisoma, na wakapita from four na wakaenda university. Lakini hawa jamaliza university. Wamekua kwa university. Unasikia mtoto wameka university ni akasita. Kajawai graduate. Unasikia ame change university hii, anapi, ime mshinda hii, ime mshinda hii, ime mshinda. Na ambia mzazi, ya tawezi ujize. Hii si laana, kuna kitu anatunia. Ask yourself. So, when you are between the ages of 23 na 32, walianza kutunia wakiwa adolescent. Sasa, those are people you need to put into rehab. Hawawezi survive. Kata mwa, amose yiku wama ni vibaya, but I want to ask a question. Saa hii mtoto wako wafujike mungu. Anguke pali na boda wafujike mungu. What are you most likely to do? Kumuleta hapa, tumiwombe, kumwekele mikono, ama kumpeleka St. Francis, akawekwe plaster. That's the most appropriate thing, eh? So addiction ni mgonjo. Kwa hivyo ta tukimuleta na tumuombe, atatoka hapa na embe akunyo. Nye ni mgonjo. Kwa hivyo ya pia, anatakiwa apelepwe, 
hospitali yenye natibu ulevi atibiwe bado hatujaelewa ugonjwa wa addiction tunasema ni ugonjwa wa kujitatia hakuna mtu anajitatia ugonjwa ule wote na ile kitu nilifikiria tuseme leo kutoka policy brief ya nakada ni kwamba that mtu akianza madawa za kulevi akiwa yao tile cha hapo huyu mtu akiendelea atatumia haya drugs hata tumia dawa moja akianza na sigara atapanda banki pombe mimi zitaanza sianze sipandaga hivyo so tunaambiwa in Kenya research wale wanatumia sana ni watu wale age between 10 and 19 ndio wanatumia sana then tunaambiwa apart from that wakifanya research walisema shule za Nairobi ndio walifanyia research 83% ya hao watoto walisema ni was it was possible watu watumie dawa kwa shule na walimu wasijue. Watu ndio wanajua kujificha vizuri sana. Siku hizo walisema pombe ndio ilikuwa inatumiwa sana. Wakasema mira na ni Nairobi hatuko mbele. Sigara siku hizo wanatumia Uber, Chapi, Snofu, Mileage hizo ndio zinatumiwa sasa tunaita smoke less tobacco na ikiwa kuna kitu niko na shida naye niyo chafisi kimefanya hii kazi kwa 22 years na kuacha bake tobacco is the hardest thing you can ever do bake tunaambiwa na world health organization tobacco inaua more than hiv aids tb and road traffic accidents put together bake hiyo kitu tunaonanga wakiweka hapa unaona huyu jamaa wa bodana kubebanga sema nanga nikaa kitu hapa alafu na shida wa chama chama mate kama wa mama wako na mimba eh hiyo kitu it's so addictive it's the most addictive thing in the world na most of it inatoka india na india wamefanya research then most of them are vegetarians na most people in india wanakulanga food fresh hawawekani food na ma microwave hawana ma microwave kama huku ama US so cancer yao wakifanya research walijua yote inatoka kwa tubako kwa hivyo wakadisai hii hey, kitu si nzuri ya watoto wetu na watu wetu so tutafanya nini imeandikwa pale juku bell for export only inawekwa kwa meli from india inakuja na land Mombasa in tanks hapa Kenya wa ya people wanaitakwa sawa guys kila kitu wanaambiwa sawa boy chao mwambie hivi sawa lazima mtambue kutambuliwa kwake ni kufanya vile tunafanya wanatumia hiyo kitu wakiwa wagonjwa about 10 15 years down the line wanapata kansa sorry for all those who have cancer tunafanya harambe wanaenda wapi india Ugonjwa ilitoka India tunaenda kutibiwa wapi? Au wasema wana make pesa mara mbili. Walituletea shida, tunaenda kutatua shida huko. Na huku tunasema tuko sawa. Hiyo kitu kuacha ask me boni mwenye kutumia fake ama sigara is the most difficult thing kuacha. So tunaambia watu don't even go there. Cause itashinda, itakataa kutoka kabisa. So tukaambiwa hiyo research half of the student walisema banki was being consumed in their school 50% so shule inaweza tumiwa watoto wanajua wazazi hawajui wale hawajui cocaine na heroin because of the amount it's expensive was the least abused now kenya yetu how are drugs being used alcohol is the most abused drug na ndio leo tutaongelea kidogo juu ya alcoholism. Na hakuna pombe imekarangwa. Watu kuna watu wanasema, "Ai, mimi sikunywi pombe, mimi nakunywa wine, especially women." Kwa mama, tunaenda chama. Unasikia watu kwambia, "Ai, Susan, ah, eh, hey, sisi hatukunywi pombe, sisi unajua tunakunywa wine. Wine has more alcohol level than beer by far." Lakini tumejiaminia sana wine tu tukisema tubako tulitoa jina cigarette sababu tubako kuna vitu vingi sana zimekuja siku hizi kuna vedi kuna lift hizo zote ni vitu za tubako lift ni kitu inafanana 
Wa mama tukinunua handbag. Unaona hata tuna tikiti tuna kuanga ndani tu white. Kwa handbag. Lift inafanana hivyo. Bado inawekwa hapa. Kuna tumia. Lift is not legal. It is not illegal in Kenya. It's a tobacco product. Shisha is bad for tobacco. Tumambio kumefungwa, ilibaniwa, but bado mita mingi kuna pahali kuna shisha pa. Club nyingi zinakuwa bado na shisha. Shisha pia ni tobacco. So, tobacco inatumika sana sana Kenya. Sana. Second most of this drug. Now, number three. Bangi. Na tunajua kwamba vitu zinaenda vibaya kulingana na siasa. I'm not a politician. Na mimi kwa voice sana kuwa politician. Now, unajua vile kunaenda. Tumeambiwa kuna mtu atakuwa rais na atalika rais bangi. Na tumepewa tu tunapojea kuwa rais. Mashamba yote ipangwe nini? Ikiwa saa hii bila hiyo tuko na shida ya bangi ile tuko nayo sasa na kukipanda kutakuwa hapo and they are people because they are getting lost hawana wao wanadhani mfano wanadhani ni kitu ya maana sana to them wamekuwa so brainwashed how bangi is good most people are saying hey, everybody is using it hata tusichana how many of you uliona a slide Kayanga akipulizia katotoka miaka mbili ndogo bangi kuna mtu aliona hiyo kitu ilikuwa kwa social media you saw it what did you think imagine she's young ayanga maybe 20 at most katotoka 2 years anafuta bangi anakapulizia ndani ya mdomo so what what am i doing hiyo mtu kwa 2 years na anaanza kupulizia bangi where was the mother because you are dead so mama ya huyo She's not the mother. We are doing bangi. Bangi, when you went to a mama to make up and our baba, we shall be a bangi. If you don't have a jury. Nasema hivi. Sisi tuna bimanga dawa za kilevia. Siku moja, Dr. Alifani akaona mgonjwa wake, pressure inaenda juu, then inaenda chini inarudi juu akaniambia Suza hebu nikutumie huyu mama unipimie kama ako na shida ingine nikamwambia kwa nini pressure imekataa ku stabilize saa zingine iko so down namwambia wache dawa then inashuka sasa namwambia kupe dawa hebu nipimie huyu mama akakuja rika yangu over 50 tunakaribia 60 nimekuja amefurahi sana hii daktari ndoka leo ukipe na huyu daktari amwambia ni mpima ni adarati amwambia anamwambia do you think wewe uko nego to me Huu mama anakuja amefurahi sana kiambu office. Kimeambiwa ni pime. Nasoma hiyo barua ya daktari na kimbiza. Tunalima huu mama na muangalia na msorora naona hana dalili za. Nikamupima. Kumpima banki imejaa kwa system. Fakira mtu ni wale wanai. Nikamuuliza, "Eh, nani? Wewe unachoma?" Nikamuuliza, "Nini kuni?" Ni hajui kuchoma. Nikachanganyikiwa. So, napigia uyo dog best yangu, na mwambia, hey, kwa ya dog, umama, halambia, nimeelewa niyo, nilikuwa na jua kuna shida, yu blood pressure yezi chesa hivyo. So, nauliza umama, na mwoji kiyo njue, hii bangi metoka watu, kwa zombi ya sili hafuti bangi, tukiongea mbia kwa wanambia, hey, kuna mbia daktari kinyame yangu, hey, anasoma University of Nairobi, hini mwaka ya saba, na bado hako sekendia, hini mwaka ya saba, hako sekendia, hini mwaka ya saba, hako sekendia, Hey, anaka wapi, anaka hapa ngara. Sa tu kiongea, ongea hivi, nika mwambia, fine presha yako, badu wiko chini, si tuita mzeo wako, akuje, akutraithi ya gani. Kwa zina wa, ha presha na wa, hakida it down. Haka niambia, hey, si tuita kijana. Nika mwambia, sawa, hita kijana. Na kwa mida kika ikifika 15, that boy was there. Kwa nini the boy was there? Because the mother is the enabler. Mama ya huu kijana, wameumia na mzee, kijana analitua akai gara, kiyo anatendea hii uwe. Every day mama yake anamwekeanga kia tango chini ya maji. Anakea pesa 500 chini ya maji. 
ati mara mam tunataka pesa ya internet mara mam kuna research mara mama yake mzee asha ajua ukijana ana shida so the boy came first and it before the father the boy kufika kuniangalia my hair works for me huku ndio nimeona hakuna shida kwenye yangu most churches nikienda kwa wananishuku wakiona hivyo ni wanasema kai huu ndio mwalimu na yeye mwenyewe na haga anafuta banki huku ndio hakuku kuwa elezi huku you you guys are good hasiku notice is anybody all of them mimi sikuona mkiwa surprised the hair but kuna pale na ndanga mpaka wanaitana wanasema eh eh acha tutafute kwa nyingine hii kijana kuniona na nyingine akaniambia mambo mambo mazeni naona niko poa masa huko ndani kamsho yeye hapo huko ndani Anaita kuda, anamita. Anaita mzai, anamwambia, "Obvious." Anamuuliza, "Ah, sasa hapa kimeu mwana bwana." Anamwambia kimeu mwana aje. Anamwambia, "Unajua wana kuanga na mama na mama." Ni. Kuna rafikia hapa cha ya shash. Anawafikia cha ya banki. Kijana ananiambia, "Wana kuanga na mama na mama, anawafikia hapa cha ya shash." Wewe? Sasa ananiona barely 2 3 minutes because of my hair. Anaona na hizo kamwambia mwambia wallahi wacha kaniambia kweli kabisa so the father comes the husband sasa namwambia eh akakuja na driver dio the big guy kama mimi mtarudi hiyo hosi fulani cause tupiko chini lakini tumejua shida iko wapi so i tell the father what is the problem and that the boy pick and want to your child you know what the father told me go do you know when this boy hakujangi boom sana cause akikuja home anaiba lakini ni siku ya kukuja chai. Ho, atupikie chai. Mimi kama baba yake na lalanga mpaka saa 5. Ndio anakuja. Lalanga kizuri. Nasikia anga tu nimelala kizuri kabisa. Nasikia ifikiria. Na yeye mama huyu pipiko chini akaniambia, "He, na mimi huyu akilala, mimi na washanga, karibu nioshe ceiling." Nafuanga usiku mapika na panga. Nasikia tu ni nasikia tu niko wamefikiwa cha jamani na kijana yao na hapa shida na yeye haoni kiwa vibaya so niliwaambia the parents kweli nikawaambia tupeleke mtoto pahali ya TV wakakataa sijui what has happened so bangi wenye tumependa kukunywa hizi supu za barabarani wewe ni very careful no mama hizi supu zinapigangwa hivi <laughs> by the way pale pote kuna namba mtura pale pote kuna mtura na muende muangalie leo kuna besi ya banki angalie ni pale pote hapo kuna besi ya banki ni hoya nikienda mtura nyuma yangu kuna banki kuna mtura tena ndani wa banki unakula unasikia tuko aini nasikia tuko sawa kabisa siwezi kuna edit kwa banki huko kwetu <laughs> kuna kuna church nyingi kwa kwetu sasa kuna mtu wako anaitangwa Joro Joro ana mzanga hiyo every time nikikuta hapo ananiambia wewe 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 hata Joro ni nini anaambia usijaribu kuniambia biashara na watu pamba nae siku ya Joro sasa hiyo ni bara sasa kila kitu nini nini na unaona watu mpaka wa mama wanakuja hiyo siku ya Joro siku moja wamefungua church nyingine hapo ya Pentecost. Huyo pasta ni mgeni. Akikuja hapa Joro akamwambia, "Basi, kuja chai kwa sasa, kuja vikombe mbili hapa, ukienda hiyo kesha." Wewe walienda kesha. Wewe the lady who works in my house, ni wa ni wa hiyo church. Akaniambia, "Ma, si leo unajua ni kesha. Unaambia ni kesha, leo ni kesha. She's not careful." Ndio sasa ndio tunaenda kesha kama mimi mnataka kuona na nani akaniambia wanataka mbali sawa muende kesha lakini mkuje asubuhi hii maneno ya kufungua geti usiku siko akaniambia hebu sawa tutaenda kesha unajua aliniambia nini ati mhubiri alifika huko hakukuwa na present washing hakukuwa na nini ati amehubiri continuous kutoka saa tatu na kama free hema nawaambia ina hotel usalimu mwe kiuka ina hotel usalimu kuja na hallucinate bangi amepewa sasa nitabuliza hakuna kitu tulifanya alikuwa na ukaruka pasta ana sweat ana toa anafanya kitu kwa tunajiuliza kwani leo ni mtakatifu na ibaje so you need to be careful you need to be careful sisi ni za barabara basi nani don't you tell me kwa barabara kwa sababu jana wewe uniambia live ananiambia sisi 
So nikawaambia mimi nilikuwa nimeshikwa na polisi kichwa ina nyuma nipeeni daba. Niko kwa podium, wametengeneza podium kubwa. So niko hapo nipeeni daba. Hizi handbags unaona hawa mama wako nazo. Wa, nilitolewa Dallas based ya na mimi nimebeat. Na tolewa sijui better things, sijui no see, sijui you don't mean sijui ni ni badala wa. Nikatolewa sijui gani. Na na naleta wanawambia hapana hapana. Nikaletoa madawa zikaja kwa hiyo. Kitu kama hii madawa zimeja. Sasa mama ngoja akaona mama. Ananiambia wewe, "Kwa nini fanya hivi?" Nikamwambia microphone. Akasema fanya hivi. Kunywa hii na hii. Sasa naambiwa ni kunywa sijui action na mara moja na headache extra pamoja. Nimeze ndio niweze kuwafutisha. Are they abusing drugs? Yes. Who has prescribed? Nobody. So hata saa hii ile nimekaa hapa nijamtisha dawa i'm sure he's hand bag as he is because of that na who has prescribed nobody ni wewe unajitembea atikienda saa ndo mticho itauma sijui kutoka kwa jua many things make our head so prescription medicines are very addictive we need to be careful na wewe tumependa kupea watoto wetu madawa katoka kiko hiyo hiyo unapea it is wrong it is wrong atakuwa addicted to prescription medicines wenye tuko hapa tunakunywa kapome kuna kadawa kanaitwa mchele it's a prescription drug hiyo dawa ni ya kutreat anxiety inaitwa rohipno rohipno unaweza kuwa prescribed if you have a mental health issue like tolala so it's supposed to be given kama ni prescribed hiyo ndio inavijangwa inawekwa kwa pombe ikiwa ulikuwa umekunywa pombe chupa moja hiyo kadawa sio yote ikiwa kwa yote utakufa wana wenye wana wake hapa au wasichana wananunua hiyo dawa moja 74 lakini hiyo dawa itanalisha wana wote sita six men kadogo tu kanawekwa kwa pombe ukikunywa pombe haichemki na haichemki ukikunywa ile pombe ilikuwa kwa mwili yako tunaita contention inakuwa hai maradufu ni kama umekunywa mzinga mara moja alafu na Memo hiyo kupiki kitu utapelekwa ATM utoe pesa utapelekwa kwako kwa nyumba ufungue wahame wa kuacha hapo ukiamka asubuhi unajiuliza kwani niko wapi na niko wako that is how bad it can be and of course kuna hizi cocaine heroin chip hizo crystal meth dawa ni nyingi hapa Kenya so now my other question is hizi dawa zote tunaongelea hapa ni nini inafanya mtu aingizie dawa why social or peer pressure watu wengi sana hivi wauliza why did you go in kulikuwa na pressure fulani either peer ama society eh wenye tumesema umepata pesa mara moja umeomoka hiyo pesa ya dhambi utafanyia nini ikiwa uwezi manage 100 uwezi manage 500 uwezi manage 1000 uwezi manage milioni moja so if unaweza manage 50 uta manage Watu wengi hata hao wana dhambi. Ukiwauliza hivi walifanya nini na hiyo pesa? Mafi. Inakuwa ni kama pesa inavaliwa. So, peer pressure is real, especially to the young people. Wanataka wafanane, wakue in a certain way. Hizi vitu zimekuja TikTok, zinawaangalisha you should be, you should be. Kila mtu anaamini ataomoka kukuwa TikToker ama kukuwa sijui nini wa social media, sijui socialite. Niliuliza pahali nilikuwa nimeitwa kuongelesha media. Nikawaambia explain to me what is a socialite? Socialite ni nini? Wenye wako na wasichana wadogo. Yeye ndio atakwambia anataka kuwa socialite. Socialite ni kitu mbaya sana. It's everything negative that can happen to a lady. So it's not something positive. So tunaambiwa kuna press peer pressure which is there. Social ni vile society inasema. Ni kama estates, watu wa bara la Kokitech community wanakwambia sana this come to our tume kwa na group tume decide kuje kuongelesha watoto wetu tutawachikia tutawafanyia hizi my estates my estates. Now the worst thing is unaambiwa unakuja kuongelesha watoto wamechinjiwa nini? Hao wazazi wenyewe wameleta pombe. Huko. Wao nasema sisi ni hao unaongelesha this is tunakunywa. Sisi utusimulize. Na mimi tu mtu wangu. They are seeing you drink. 
smooth all the way to where? The greatness in you, eh? in that peace. And they are so ashamed how they are real. When they are very young, beautiful people who look very handsome. And those are the people they are advertising with. So they are doing bad. Our culture, if Sahi will be the Baba Flan and I will not Do you know we don't get shot? Oh, Baba Flan. Oh, it will come to my Zen when you are on the lesson. Mama Flan and I will not pop them. Culture shock. Mama, and I will not pop them. Are you seeing culture? What does it say? The same culture, I'm not what is a new one. When I join you, I'm not what you prefer. Pia kuna pombe, kwa saa, kutu wakikufa. So in the way, tunakunywa. Watu wakizani watu wakunywa. Watu wakikufa, bako sisi tunakunywa. So what is our culture to do? Self-esteem, especially for the young people. Self-esteem ya mtoto wako inatoka kwa kwa kama mzazi. Ikiwa wewe ni wakueta mtoto chini, constantly. Hakuna kitu mzuri unaunana kwa mtoto. Mothers, hakuna kitu mzuri. Mtoto wako wanafanya kasi chana kana jaribu na kambia wewe ni mjinga, hata huku fanya, hakuna kitu Self-esteem in Naina Chino. If you're not in it, what about the drugs? Our families that are dysfunctional, they go on the car. Now, even in Kenya, 80% of our families are dysfunctional. And there's something to answer to learn. Constantly, we learn. Last month, we went to the U-19 Arab Emirates. Their president had been referred to Kiwa Huko. We went to a conference here in Kiwa Aisa. We went to Kiwa Huko to the foundation to see the city of Kenya. To the foundation of Kenya. Come. She's going to be my role model. She's going to be my role model. But here is my mom. I'm assuming she's a mom. Is it a good assumption of some children? So, she's here is my mom. So, she's going to be my role model. She's going to be my role model. But what we are learning practically, what we are learning, how 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 we are and the children are here. How are you talking about this? I'm going to mama wanga. I'm going to be a mother. I'm going to be a mom. So she's a single mother to her, isn't it? Muzaya, kia kwa hapa. He's a single father to his. I'm talking about level concept, very different. Kwa hivyo watoto wake wakona mama moja na wakona mama moja. But they too, they are parents. They are not parents. They are. So they are two. So siku hizi, because of stigma hapa Kenya, tumetoa jina ya siku mana. Tunasema one parent family. Because mimi kama sina mzee, pano mimi ni mzazi wa huyu mtoto. So I'm a one parent family. Yeye, she has her husband. So they are, they are parents. So watoto wote wanakuwaka na siku mana mboja. Every child, hata wako, sinu ya mama ya watoto wangu, wangu ya siku mana. So he was taking my ego that when you are female, because I also I'm working with men who are single fathers, but nobody talks about them much. So we are calling them now one parent family. I did not hear you. Yes, thank you, thank you. So now you have to finish one to school is a one parent family because those are the families that are coming to pay them to spend. Use wana niyami, eh, niko na baby daddy, siju na baby mama. Iko kitu yinu meziyelewa, nisi ziyele wangu. Nasipia, atiku yinu baby daddy wangu. Nasasa na udiza, haya, baby na muona. Daddy na kujia wapi. Hala hu yinu mama na dispute. Sijaelewa hiyo concept, but tunawabia that is what is coming. So we need to have a better concept of understanding it. So pia, pressure to perform. All of us parents, especially my age, when you go up, we are going to be number one. This is all, eh? You remember to go to number one. Chairman, you want to be number one. At a minute, you are number one. You are the pressure that pay our job. Is it true? Yeah, it's all of us to go to number one. So your pressure, we need to know how to, because they could be gifted differently. What will be different? And the more we give them the pressure, the 
the more they will go into plants wakitafuta to do better then of course kuna hiyo how are they how have we taught our children to interact hakuna kitu important kama interpersonal relationship how do i relate to this how do you relate to other people women we stay longer with our children what have we taught our children i went to my friend's place hakuwa kana mimi sasa ningia ni 20 minutes na kuja i found her daughter who is barely 17 I knock, I ring the bell, akakuja akafungua mlango, amevaa headphones, anachuga, akafungua. Mama yuko na kabao. So I rang the bell again. She opens na kaniangalia. Hapo. Mama yuko na kabao. Mama anasema nikuje ni ngoje. Mlango iliwacha wazi, akaingia, akaka aka walk. Wala niingie nisiingie, akaenda kwa city hii. TV iko on, radio iko on. Telephone iko on, microwave iko on, kila kitu iko on kwa nini. Ile what I'm seeing on this big TV ni vitu zinanitraumatize. Cause wasichana wengine wana dance vitu sijaona. So, na niambie anything, that girl never can ask me can you have water? Nothing. Anachukua, asiyo nini anaona kwa simu anacheka akiwa peke yake. Anacheka. Anafanya nini? For 20 minutes she simply ignored me. So the mama comes in. Kai sira, ndio baada ya kugeni saa hii. Sira aliangalia mama yake chini juu chini juu akaenda upstairs. Sira. Na sira atakuja nikupee job. Mimi nikupee job na mimi nisharaki na watu. Hapo ni hoi ndopea watu heshima. So we are teaching our children wrong. Rebellion, watoto will rebel when they feel they are pressured to march. When they feel like sipendi I'm not a fan I'm not wanted tunaambiwa sasa we need to balance discipline na love as a parent know how to balance kumbuka wazazi wetu tukichapwa mtu alikuwa anachapwa kunaambiwa mimi sijakuchapa baba yako mimi ni makosa nimefanya nini sijakuchapa exam au psychologically tukumbuka tunaambiwa au kwa hivyo nishiko kosa sichapangi oh sawa sasa one day my brother is very sharp akaambia mama Maito leke kike huko keje mimi ole yangu tamehi ya demeni ha umahone leke mimi ole nae kuma sababu sasa sijalikuwa najua ni makosa sasa yeye akapewa time ajue vile atatoa hiyo makosa iweke wapi then a way of relaxation is this to mfundisha watoto wetu hivyo we want to unwind we want and hakuna kitu mbaya kama closet drinkers closet drinkers This is when they took over the Misa Sana, but this is Ukumwa. This is Ukumwa to the future. So there is a word for that. We are talking about closet drinkers. Closet was my Ukumwa. Na kuna kama wapi? Na jifisha bahari. Unfortunately, most of closet drinkers are women. They are women. Older women, when they were men, 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 Watoto wote wameenda kubaki kwa nyumba peke yako. Unfortunately mzee amekufa, mtu anakwambia ni kunywanga hii. Unaanza kukunywa mpaka unakuwa addicted to alcohol. Now this is the most important thing. And I think I'll stop yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to continue and no. Hii ni initiation age of alcohol and drug. Hiyo ada ni alcohol and drug abuse. Now kuna why excess na excess. Hii yenye inadikwa percent ni ya watu chini ni miaka initiation age so ukiangalia chini 5 year olds 5% of 5 year olds wamekuwa introduced to alcohol in class pole to alcohol and drugs who is introducing 5 year olds to alcohol and drugs Nani ana introduce five year olds to alcohol and drugs? Who? Ni nani? Five year olds. Nani ana introduce? The parents, the sisters, the brothers, the significant others when you look at Bia. I'm 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 older, but I'm telling people when you are in the house, are you aware of most of the house and schools on the stand up Are you aware? Mimi zina zionanga kwa ofisi. Kaboi kana kuja na kuformwa, ni formwa mafikia juice.
Hanakuja chula mama insist kabimwe. He's barely 14, 14. Na mwangalia na chuliza 14. Angalia hii ni yanza kuchoka kichwa kwa 7. Na mwangalia na ndio mama aliandika house ya mwingine hapo na tukua na share mimi. Usiku alikuwa anafuta bangi. Sasa sisi tunafuta bangi na yeye. Nimefuta eh hata alikuwa amenipea msokoto 60 yeye nikauza shule. Ndio iko wapi? Ni of children line. Akatoa, anambia ndio hii. Hata mabonde hawajashikamisha nikuwa nayo, lakini walikuwa wanaona niko hai hai. When I told the mother she told me she trusted this house yo. so much back and tumana kwa mama yake. Kuna biashara pia anapotea hapa ndo anamwambia she ana trust kama her own daughter. Na ndiye anaitumia hizo mbele yake kwa banki. So five year olds watakuwa introduced by how watu wanaandika. Ten year olds, eight percent. That's a very big number. Eight percent, they are ten year olds. Some people talk. He's a dawa who take advantage of them being molested. Now look at our teenagers, 15 years. Up to that, eight percent have been initiated to drugs. How about your peers, neighbors, first cousins? Uncles, kuna watu na mamia, mimi yankuwa ni mifumisha mkuli wa kombe. Mimi ni kazi yangu ya mifumisha vuta bangi. Na wana normalize. And as I speak like this, tukienda maumbolezi, huko ho kwetu. Tukaenda maumbolezi ya kutu, sakoli ya hivyo ya nokiwa ndao na gandhi ya tiwa mbolezi. Huko tunienda maumbolezi, kama wa mama kuna vile sisi ufanya. Nikauliza hawa wa mama, hawa vijana wote, Munata kuyambi wa hukwa hile nyumba wa ya kanyambia ee, wamesema wao wakai huko otu wapikia tu wapelikia chakula huko. Nika wambia ni ya mfai nifani atile nyumba hile nyamaza sana. Yang people wakiwa pahani, they always make noise. At least for me. Bina sikiyama tuke, lele, lele, huko kume nyamaza sana. Huma mamoja kanyambia, huma ya wako mama wangoli, una kuwanga tu, suspicious. Nika wambia, they are more than 15 young people. Na it is too quiet. Uyo mama mungine mjuaji hapa na itangu wa mangeshi Haka sema kekone, haka pitia kwa dirisha Halipata wa doto ni bangi wanawasha Peana, nazuguka Halisema, halitudi haka sema uwe, mwuki uke mwene Kufika hako, wakaweka kwa mdoko wa kandenza Haka sema hakuna evidence, mama mangeshi Mangeshi hakuna chitu walikuwa meona na halusimi Kwa naona vitu zaake So this is suspicious, sasa imadi ni maumolezi so all the young people are the culture. Then they are other than how they are white. But if you come back, every day you have to be in your bank, you have to be much of a father and me, but you have to be in your bank. You come on a couple of or something there. So 15 year olds. Now let us look at 20 year olds. We are talking of 60% are initiated into drugs. Our children in the university, most people finish university at 25 in Kenya. We are talking of 78%. We have a problem with the friends. My brothers and sisters, we have a problem. And we need to do more of prevention. Kikiwa iko hivi sahi, itaen inaenda mati. So we have a problem and we need to do prevention. Na hii prevention yetu, itaanza from home. The home, that's why it will start. Iende kwa neighborhood, iende kwa kamisa, iende kwa learning institution, ikiendana hivyo. Because the perception has to be there. So kuna hizo signs hapo za watu wenye wanatumianga, inaberati, kuibaiba vitu, kuitisha pesa uti zinepa enough at home, kukua na masimu, as yende wengi, wengine, wanaenda baka masimu shule, torches, wanafichaba uko nani, na hizi lighters, zile za hivi, hizo lighters za watu wa mchoma, wind, chronic, aggressive behavior, uongo, 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 uongo. Na wamama mnamekangu wa box rice sana. Mtoto wana kuswea, anachukua paka bibilia, anaswea, paka sijawai, chule inanione, tunapima, sinawaka zote. Uyo mama anasema, wamama wana angukama kwa ofisi yetu, wana fini kustuka, mtoto wana mwambia, mamu sija, sijawai, na nikuwekelewa, na nini, and I still have a problem with mothers. Then that day at school near where I am, wakaleta watoto, vijana walipatwa kwa huko juu, kwa building nikuwa inajekwa kwa shule. Seven of them. Walifu wakasema hea ni wana moshi. 
akaita wazazi akamwambia endeni mpeleke watoto wa kipimo wenye watakuwa negative mrudishe shule wenye watatoka positive mwende nao huko mkawaongeleze seven boys four wakaletwa na their mothers four boys three wakaletwa na their fathers tuachane na the four boys wa mama i like fathers Fata anaingia na daktari ati nini eh anakaa hapo chini anasikiliza ukipeleka hiyo session because we ask a lot of things to this child we are not testing like a lab tunafanya kitu tunaitanga screening so you asking this boy the things you pick up on trauma car bado ananegotiate and don't listen kama kuna kashida kingine the fathers don't interfere kwa maana ndio nini hapo nauliza kijana yako wewe ulinyonya kidole eh hey, alinyonya alinyonya amewacha kunyonya akiwa seven ni kijana nauliza kijana uliacha kukojoa nini kwa kitanda he bado unakojoa anga mimi si bado unakojoa anga sasa ni mama tawachi kijana ongea okay? and i want to know kwa hizo vitu kuna vile zinaniambia for psychology kama unanyonya kama bado unakojoa anga the mothers wana interfere sana mpaka inafika mahali unaambia mama wewe toka wacha nibaki na kijana ile kitu ilinistua out of the seven boys one tested negative wao hawa ndio sita huyu mmoja nikamuuliza wewe kwa nini hukusema hawa watu akaniambia shule yetu kisema naitwa snitch wewe utapigwa usiku na tawe litafungwa sabuni ya mote inafungwa una gongwa nayo siku jua kati sabuni ya mote ikifungwa kwa tawe ikigonge hauna maka i don't know that ni julia hapo So utapigwa kabisa lakini ukienda kuonyesha mwalimu hakuna kitu lakini umeumia kitu ya pili kitanda yako itamwagiwa maji kanana wapi kitu ya tatu vitabu zako zitaanza kupotea vitabu zinapotea zinapotea kitu na ile na muhimu kabisa wataweka banki kwa desk yako sasa mwalimu akipata banki kwa desk yako ukajitoa so the point is that's why sisi tusema wacha wapatikane vile wamepatikana pia akarudishi Hawa sita. Mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Dadi na mama yake. Kwa kwa sasa Dadi aka test positive. Shule ilijua bangi. Chavis na pombe. Na ni pombe vitu tatu positive. The mama is there. The boy is there. Wote watatu. The mama akaniambia, "Kai daktari, si wewe ni mama, hapa ni msaidiana." Dadi, si ulisema utawacha. Ambia daktari utawacha. Hebu ambia daktari hivyo. Dadi ireni wotiga boy ananiangalia anasema mtaacha basi andika darani wa mimi wewe wotiga sidani utawacha eh ni wotiga basi mtawacha sasa hiyo anashika shiko hiyo akiitwa tandina mama yake bila kusema atawacha mama yake akaingia kwa hali na akatoa vaao akampe anambia ni wotiga naona na boki akaja mimi wotiga wewe wotiga mama one of the group one father kijana yake tukamkuja tukapima mara nyingi huambiangi mtu haraka ile iko positive na ameanga zile vitu vizuri ametest zote negative hiyo bangi tu ilikuwa positive nikimaliza kumwambia yule <laughs> huyu kijana yako ametest negative pombe hatumi hiyo chavis hata ndera hatumi lakini nikimaliza kusema bangi iko positive mimi nikimaliza kusema bangi iko positive kijana alikuwa ameshikwa hapa amewekwa kwa ukuta amepigwa magumi ameanguka chini na baba yake ametoka kwa ofisi na ameenda na tikiru mwanake mapo imefujika ananusuli na baba yake ameenda na kaenda na kaacha hiyo mtoto hapo ili bidi mimi nichukue mtoto nipeleke hospitali na sababu hao watu wa hospitali wanajua niko na speed mabiraya yani sikuna nimegonga mtoto wa wenyewe na gani ili bidi niongee na principal nikamwambia wewe chukua mimi mtoto itana tu hiyo kavani yenu nikujie i convince the principal the boy went hiyo shule ni vizuri hata mkitest positive wana unamdingi shule after that days kuna pimo tena that means anakuja wapimwe ikiwa ni negative narudi shule sasa wanatolewa shule dadi akakuja kaniambia mama mle niemo kaka aingie ofisi mage anakuja tupatane kwa ofisi si ametoka shule ati nikupima ye aingie ofisi mage na anachunga hapo kielehere hapo tulitest tatu zilikuwa positive kutest mara ya pili 
ime tano zilitoka positive he added three more to two more drugs leo ni tutio nete muuka sasa anaanza kuchukuuka hatukua tumeona tap tap kuna vitu zinaitwa tap tap mtu ana meza analewa nikatoka positive mama yake akakuja leo daktari ni tu uikate hadi ndio kuna ile kilia tike kibasi ni kwambia kwa kuna shida ni kwambia kwa kuna shida of course mama asikutajia vijana the father of the boy king kule kwa mapu wa mapua wacha nimuite Brian for the sake of the story Brian akakuja daktari eh wako na baba yake hapo tumekuja nikamwambia baba yake unaweza enda chini ungojee chini kwa nini asimpige tena so nilimwambia baba yake aende downstairs amgojee wapi huko Brian akaniambia wai daktari nipime mimi niko sana nipime nikamwambia nikupime eh nipime kupima kila kitu ni negative nikamwambia Brian leo iko negative aje akaniambia huyu angekuwa muda wako wewe unaweza choma tena wewe unaweza choma tena and the boy passed the father said he will not get his results later alikaa shule like another year and a half results zikatoka the boy had a, a b plus the father alimwambia sasa hiyo b plus ni yako because after that ndiye ndiye baba yake kuacha kuchapa mtoto acha tumpeleke pole 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 so tunaambiwa hiyo maneno hapo tunaona watoto wako na pesa nyingi hasira huelewi hostility secretiveness nasikia ni kwako na hauwezi ingia kwa group ya kijana yako sababu ya culture i don't have boys so miss na culture wasiana wanaishi kwangu sitaingia hiyo ndio yako wote unasikia kuna watu wanaandika kwa mlango no parents beyond this point kwangu <laughs> mlango yangu sinisingie so hiyo kukuwa very secretive unnecessary privacy walikuwa na wa friends wapya wenye uwajui vizuri lakini sasa tu ni my best and no but kwa kuna influence baya sana kwa hiyo mtoto hata anaweza kuoka ende halale inji good something that you know kuwa what is this person anapewa nini mtoto anakuwa aggressive nambia mzazi yote hapa ile siku kijana yako atakwambia wewe mama tumezoeana sio yeye anaongea is under the influence your daughter hapo anakwambia vitu mpaka unajiuliza huyu ni mtoto wangu ananiongelea he under some influence so drugs are there and we need to be careful physical signs yetu tunaona ni memory lapse kukosa kulala kuogopa watu wengine kusweat wengine kutapika moodiness kuchoka imagine mtu yangu anachoka how oh, i don't get it I am person you are you are tired of what umeanguka saa hii na unashonga aje na unaanguka saa hii ana shida hapo kwa kiti and healthy and appearance usafi na enda chini that is number one banki na maji asipendekani inaitangwa hydrophobia wale watu wamefuta banki sana wanashikwa na hiyo ugonjwa hydrophobia ile maji wanaamini ni kwa kikombe ama kwa glass ikiwekwa kwa karai ama kitoka kwa shawa ata brown akini nawaambia mimi nita red eyes eh wengine wanavaa hizi shades mpaka kwa nyumba unaona anavaa mpaka ma shades kwa nyumba and explain skin rash rash unashinda kwa hii rash sio what is happening to my child suicidal behavior anaanza kwa very demanding nataka usipofanya hivyo nitachiwa pathological jealous na uongo headaches aziishi headaches are the headache ukitumia hiyo chaji usipoe tumia kichwa kitauma na kudose bleed it happen so lazima ushinde ukitumia 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 tena tunaambiwa ukiona pale popote banana leaves ama merati sio ni element ya dawa za kulevya necklace ziko na bangi bili eh kiona hizo mafuta zinachoa wa like the rasta colors na changwa the true colors eh zinazo zinachangwa the true colors na tukiwa hapa watoto wengi wa kristiano wamevutwa kwa bangi kuambiwa at Adam na Eve wakiwa kwa the garden walikula nini sasa very common question to the young people alizamba wewe mama mimi nikiwa madhara kwa riha au vijana wako riha vya madhara 
wananiuliza sister guys adam na eve walimwaga nini kwa ile garden na ile garden gani si ile garden ya eve sikila waambia mimi ni mkristo walikula forbidden fruit au vijana wakaniambia ai sister guys wacha hapa au watu walichoma wakasema ai tuko uchi kwa hivyo wanadakanywa atile is the tree of wisdom pand is the tree of na wanaamini hivyo so hizo basirent rizla running laws bad candles these are the evidence frequent brushing of teeth cause uta smell so lazima ni brush kuchoma udi kwa nyumba air freshener makono kali cover up scent iko huko eh so they cover up a lot it's not that they are children no but using drugs is bad cause they cover up na wanajificha sana na they by the time you as a parent una notice mtoto anatumia dawa ametumia almost for 5 years by the time you are to people who catch it and you are ogopa wali wali wana observe to behavior na ukiambia na mwalimu mtoto anatumia i'm asking you kai usiruke kwa ngembe ya dharama come down fuatilia hiki teachers are always right kuna kitu wao wanaona na because kuizi tuko accredited na makala tunaambia tunaweza test unaweza kuleta mtoto wako chini ya maji upime uzi kana tumia tu prevent isiku imeenda sana 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 sasa ukiona watu wako na hizo rolling papers zinaitwa Rizla to chupa tudogo tudogo i think have a picture of them here hizo malaita uh, association of Bob Marley dreadlocks kama hizi niko nazo those are identification that drugs but hizo ni identification za nini eh hizo ni identification ya nini ya drug eh especially this is our kuna watu wako na meat ones eh i think like yours are dreadlocks are they but they are very neat hata watu wajajua hizo ni dreadlocks mimi na music ni set ina mzee kote yako na dread na hapo hapa zangu zuzu zinakaa za rasta kabisa ndio hizi zimenisaidia sana sana kitu ya kwanza mimi nikisindiwa na matatu niweke kio chini waone hii ile mama yetu oh mama yetu hebu tokeni mama picha wanaamini mimi vita bank sababu ya hizi sikutani stay tuta sijui na vita kwa acha basi nikataa mahali watu wako pia nikienda mashule kufundisha watoto wengi wakiambia huyu ndio anafundisha mgani ati mgani wakiwa tu yule kitu ya kwanza wanizanga mwalimu ndio wanajanga kila mtu ticha ticha hizo ni za mkoe mmoja anafuatia na kuja anashika anamwambia walai ni za mkoe umanda kwa na wisdom umanda kwa na wisdom kwa hivyo they want for me eh zina work sana road blocks zile zikuwa zinaweka wekwa hizi vijana wa kipindi cha za ball wana road wanafunga barabara na kuanga kwa gari na kale kitambo na kona hizo rasta cars unaofunga tu hapo nje unakubusi ikonkishi sio waone hii ah huyu mwanamke wetu wacheni ya pite nina because of the hair nikipotea i travel a lot of places sijai na kuuliza mtu wa kawaida njia ama mtu wa boda mimi nauliza anga pendwa hata huku nikikaa kidogo nitamwambia nani anauza bangi kidogo tu na nana kwa pendi aje aje tumaambia wewe ndio hiyo mode na kwa hiyo saa naenda hapa hapa hivi unajua tu bangi ya always potea njia wana kuanga na anamwambia ni mama ndio roho hakina farendo ndio roho farendo mama ndio roho pendi tu mama mama ukije kwa hiyo tu ile mama sasa hizo ni bangi hizo zile nitamwambia lakini uwezi potea so zina nisaidia sana na nikiziweka niliweka intentionally ten years ago because you will notice nikienda tu nikiwa normal watu wana wana kushuku ukiwa hivi already umepita hapo they don't shukui wanajua una unawasaidia so kuna vitu zingine tulisema addiction process ukianza kutumia saa hii utashikwa na hii gondwa it moves kuna ile experimento mtu ana experiment after the experiment kuna watu mara ya kwanza walivuta bangi na watu walivuta tena cause ile experience was so bad wengine wanakuta wanasema hebu nijaribu tena so kuna hiyo stage tunaita experimental stage hii mostly ni curiosity risk taking ya the boy child 
pia pressure na thrill for adventure na wengine ni sababu ya rebellion then kuna next stage inaitwa social social stage unataka kuwa accepted socially so bado una function eh kama uko youth ama young adult unasema ai si mimi kuna tu saturday asinilichoma tu friday so they don't believe anything bad will happen to them at this social stage but the worst things I've seen people die who are in social stages because they are very aggressive and they want to fight sana and they want to expose sana to other things. Instrumental stage, you may know that you are in a place where 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 you are so you are in a instrument. You use alcohol or drugs as an instrument to do something. So kuna hiyo stage nyingine tunaita habichu. Habichu hii lazima utumie watu wa sigara. Akiamka kabla hata hajafukua macho, hata kabla hajaomba, anatafuta anga sigara, akiwaasha ndio macho yanafunguka, ndio anatasaliana. So uko habichu stage. Akikula chakula poa bado sigara. So kuna hao. So hawa habichu the drug becomes medicine for your problems. Ukikasirika, ukifurahi mtu wenu atakufa kila kitu stress kazi so this is a bitch stage the last stage inaitwa compulsive stage hapa you are already addicted ndio tunaita addiction na the only relationship who you are addicted ako nayo ni adawa yako hapa hasoni home hakai amekosana na kila mtu anakaa kama amejitenga and by this time this person is very sick kuyu hata tumfanyie nini it will only it will lead to death. Addiction is fatal. Kwa hivyo atakufa. So hapa ndio tunaongea mambo ya rehabilitation. Na najua kuna question watu watu wakienda liha wakitoka wana relapse. Si yes, ni kwa relapse. Ni kama ukiwa na asthma. Ukiwa na asthma ukishikika na asthma. Kuambiwa na daktari vao usijexpose kwa dust nini. Ni ukipata asthma hata kingine unaenda na hosi. Baba atakudunga. Kuna siku amekwambia ah kuna relapse. Rudi addiction is a relapsing disease inatakanga kwenye wanakana huyu wafundishwa waelewe yeye yeah, alielewe alafu afuate program 2 years kutoka toke liha kuna program tunafuatana ya 2 years watu wengi hawajui so tunaambiwa workplace alcohol ina affect everybody wewe individual mtu mmoja akitumia drug hiyo familia yote iko affect workplace family community not at the whole nation we are all affected and as we sit here if i pick any of you random random sikujui ni kuuliza do you know somebody who has an alcohol or a drug problem chances are utatoka kwenu utatoka kwenu huko kwenu kuna shida so we are being told as kids most of our families to kuna hiyo mtu mmoja na kitibiwa tutapona sisi what so uh naenda bibi kidogo kuna kitu tunaita poly drug use poly drug use ni wale watu wanatumia more than one drug mtu anakula melaa anakula chavis anafuta bangi anakunywa pombe anameza tap tap that's a poly drug use if you use more than one drug iko poly drug use na hii kali sana kutibu huyu ni tricky sana kwa sisi kitu moja anatumia na most young people wame wana wanatumia na hizi vitu hivyo. Wanataka na any high then for a high 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 high. Then why do them people use drugs? Some people to fit in. I want so much to be accept. So if you are machoma, then most people forget boy child. If you are mabesi wake wa machoma, hata choma tu, they want to fit in. Then curiosity ile ile ya curious. Is it true to put a bank hesabu itaingia? Is it true to put a bank ni stari haitapotea nikikatia hiyo day especially for the boy child na niambia hai sister na hii juu wallahi nikichoma hiyo day bana ingia na box hapo hapo ni stari haikuwa ni nikiwa soba nashindwa kuongea wengine wanatumia na peer pressure peer pressure is real and it will be there until kingdom come rebellion bado wako poor role models we are the role models we So what we are seeing is a reflection of what we have done. Most music is kiliza, especially for the young people. Music here 
na ume about drugs, alcohol, and sex. No, 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 But they are saying something to us. We have lost it somewhere. So that issue of opinion leaders, us ourselves, na lose moral authority. Imagine kama mimi na kunywa pombe. Then na dia watu wa sikunywa pombe. How would that look? I was at the Technical University here in Nairobi. Manaita talk. Manaita na Technical University of Nairobi. Manaita hati hii ya nini? Ilikuwa na Technical School. I went to an orientation program for the former one of the year first year. After that, my sister can be like a carnival. Kukula nyama, chioni, tukionanga, spiritual. It was a church. Kupi hawa watoto wanikuwa huko. Si walini yona wa kasima. Kuge ule ule mwalini. Wakakaa vizuri na simu. Kwa suma na hapini kina kunywa kwa ume. Si mwambia na pamu lele. Walikojea mpaka sanane ya usiku sija kunywa. Finally, kwa walikuja. Wakati mpujua mwalini, kwa nume kuseta. 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 So I need to be a good role model. See, there are many people who sit with a cigar and a footer, who sit with a problem, who sit gossip, who sit funny. Now, I need to do it so that you see. So can we become better role models? Learn how to manage your stress. Life is about stress. We sit and have a good time. Life is about stress. At times, when we are busy, we are busy. We are busy. We are stress. So it's just learning how to manage stress. When we are busy, we are looking for pleasure. They just want to feel. They don't want to feel bad, especially this younger generation. When I eat one instant generation, he a microwave. I want you to sasa, na kama si yo sasa, ni sasa hivi. Na sisi kama wazazi, we are even worse. You don't have a condition. Mom, mom, mimi nataka hii. Nataka hii. Hei, mbaka karibu mkufi utafuta. So, hiyo instant, you know, mbaka utafuta pleasure all the time. So, Kuyo ni mtu na kijana yake. Anaitu wa sunu na saa. Wanafuta panji pamoja. So if your father is using drugs, how can he tell you not to use drugs? High risk individuals, children of users. What to me and to family conflicts. Hata to be done to nafanya chini ya maji. Our children are very sensitive. When we reach a point, I'm talking to my husband through my children. Wewe wewe ndio na bibi ndio na huko. Ila kwa huko kupili na gas ni rangi jile. Dad, mama amesema mwele ndio na pesa. So we are not talked. What are we teaching our children? Not going to school. What you have in the shule as serious as space to apo and rap. Our young adults in the university and colleges victims of trauma. Na trauma ni nini? At home kuna vile tunachapa watoto na ina wa traumatized. Kuna vile tunawambia, very bad things. Nisikia mama mungine ya kisema tia fadhali, kama mtoto alimza, angetuku wa pamoja na placenta. And you're telling your child that. Okia kia niliona jogube. Children get so much of my feelings we say. Tinkwe hine tukisema ni mekutukula hani, siju imefanya hani. Those are things we are doing. Street children, slum children are at risk in our adolescence. Sasa hiyo ni bambi. Kuza kofi, dikuwa inabempwa hiko shule na mask. Kwa vizuri na mask, mwalimu wanafanya search everywhere, kupe mwalimu tu hiko, hiko tu kwa mask. Then, tunaambiwa marijuana is the most abused by the teenagers and the young people. Na hapa Kenya tunaambiwa, kushikuwa nae, is a criminal offense. Unafungwa mayaka kumi, bila kumi. How are you going to work in for 10 years? It has very many names. Watch the revolution in my for the sake. You might capture him. This is your magina. Weed, shash, wine, blunt, marijuana, joint, gaja, shaka, dog, ijome, kush, pot, stash, kaya. Many of you have to be in Kizana, kush and pen, tree of wisdom. You know, you have to be in Kizana. How are you going to be in Kizana? So why do people use the young people to fit in the group, to reduce stress and all, to relax? I want to feel high. I want to enhance reading and concentration. Curiosity is a new experiment. So many things why they do. There is one more thing that you have to do. 
It makes you work harder. It is not a lift. Bangi is psychologically a lift. Tuwa kuna kitu inakushika. Na inakushika kabisa ni bangi. Ndiyo hiyo bangi. Kitengenezo. Na watoto wetu. Unaambiwa kenya yetu. It is legal hapa kwetu. Watu wetu wanasema ni stimulant is a depressor. Tu watu wetu wanatimia kombe wa kwa depression. It is absorbed in the liver. And we are told over 30% of all Kenyan men are regular alcohol users. Regular people who are not able to do it, almost every other day they are high. So, 20% of secondary students are already engaged in alcohol consumption. To the number of average age, they have got to have 11 years. But globally, to the number of 1.8 million people die annually. Sababu ya pombe. Mutu wa kibongo hapa kwa barabara kiuwa mlevi, hatusemi ni pombe, tunasema ni gari ni mgonga. So 85% of all road accidents are associated with mutu kulewa na pombe. So, kuna myth. Atukisha alewa, mutu vanya nini? Atukunywe kahawa, uteka old shower, ukule chakula hiko na mafuta, utapike ya tutapono. Hiyo yote ni mwongo. Hii senator, is kuna ya black na kuna regular. It is the, one of the cheaper alcohols that has come. Na a lot of young people are in need. So, alcohol, 20% in a year kwa dam through your stomach, 80% through the small intestine. I think you may notice when you went to our bed, chakula, because when I talk about newe. So, they don't like it. Because when you go to pombe, you can't chakula kwa tuku, out and lewa haraka. In a slow down, lewa. That's why they don't. So, it enters the stomach, inaingia kwa bloodstream. Ikiwa kuna food, hauta lewa haraka. Ikiwa kuna food, inaingia kwa small intestines. And that is how it enters your system na unalewa. Na watu wengi, you can be, unaweza lewa for up to 72 hours. Depending on your body metabolism, women are affected more by alcohol than men because women have more body fat. Kwa hivyo wa mama ni wanalewa sana kushinda. Ukikunywa kwa mbele same amount, mbele same person, mbele same weight. Mama tolewa sana kwa soft your hormones na wana lot of body fat. So, for you to go into what has we call addiction, we ask a very easy question for you to do. Do I have a problem with alcohol? And the question we ask is very easy. Number one, have you ever felt if you cut down on your drink? The answer is yes or no. Have people annoyed you when they criticize you say it's your drink? The answer is yes or no. So you either say yes or no. The first question, have you ever felt bad or guilty about your drink? Yes or no? And the last question, have you ever had a drink the first thing in the morning to steady your nerves or get ile wanasema kutoa along? If you answer any of the three questions, Yes, in the three, you already have a more problem. If you have answered two questions, yes, you need to consider how you are drinking. If one question is yes, it still means it will spot further anything, peer to partnership. So, how do you know the problem is bigger? Ukumbuki vitu, kulewa of your hovio, lying a lot about how much you drink, thinking that for you to have fun, lazima kunywe pombe. And over the horizon, to feel down, depressed, or even suicidal, having blackouts, having problems with school, or getting in trouble with the police. This is your Nareke Angwas, the Itangwas are spike. This is your Nareke Angwas, the Pombe Watu Hana, Bewa, this is your Mandawa, to record the same as the Chair. The Five, Cosma, Sketcher, Mind for Hitmore. This is the same as the Devil's Breath, the Nile, the Nile, the Nile, the Nile, the Nile, so most women when as we talk about kifua and they pull a man down like a briefing and a and a kuwa and a chana kikiwa. But when we are as a man like a pachetan, you are the type of devil's breath. But here on that one, you have control. You can find a villain yourself. You do everything that I say, and it's a available. Now, I notice that you men are sad now, and I'm also noticing that some of you have questions. Do you have questions? Am I making sense? How are you going to tell a story up a man? When you're going to tell a story up a man, 
You know a class is good because people are small, yeah? So in this one, am I making sense? Yes. You are? Yes. So to end the end, to Mandiza, to the Okubel, Chavis, Nikwa, and Awamesha, there are very many here in the country. It's the most addictive drug. We are a Western American. I'm to sit down and I'm going to talk about dog, or I'm going to sit down. My question is always, now I'm not saying who you know me at a moment. People who you know me is now. Pengine when you're not going to come and hear you, a lot of cancers come about because of this of smokeless tobacco, uh, cancer of the esophagus, cancer of the tongue, which is the name of the earth, the magi, you know, in the mirror, you know, 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 fast foods, you know, 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 Vile inafanya, ina change you, ikona shida, niyo hizo mera. Hii inaitua vape. Vape is the hottest thing now for the young people. Wana vape, it looks like a pen. Wana vape, vitu mingi sana. So, una vape, vitu kama liquid, bangi, bad salts, flaka, hash oil. Kitu inaitua spice, that is synthetic marijuana, na vitu zimezi inaitua saikanemi. Kinachajua kama simu, very common now. With us, uh, it's something that has not been there, but in Kuja, you're here, you order it online, in a way delivered. Eh? Those are the bottles I was talking about. These videos are made of use of vapors. Most of them have very nice smells. So, it is men who are doing a drug in a tumiwa, or the man in the kitchen, and the man in the kitchen, too poor. This one is your prescription medicine, the Rohypno. Here, Rohypno, you're in a tumiwa, Sana Kama Mchele. And it's supposed to treat mental health issues. It's what happened. What you are going to do is cough syrup. Cough syrup, you know, you know, you know, you And fortunately, to the drug behavior problems have come in for teenagers who use drugs. They have depression, suicidal, violence, stealing, so many bad things that happen. Uh, risky sexual behavior, learning problems. Most people are using drugs are water soma. I can find a name. It is a to change you. I want to soma until they stop using. Of course, they'll have a lot of blood borne diseases like HIV, hepatitis B and C. People don't talk about that. Brain damage for all of us who are using substances happens a lot. So what is our way forward? One is to have family stability. First line of defense, the family. So, how stable the family is, that boy who did not test positive from that school that had said, he told me it's because what his father has always told me, that he cannot use the drugs. Even when his six friends were using, he could not use. That's how stable that boy he was because of the stable family. Community Penemuko. We laughed when we talked of Mbakumi. Mbakumi can be one us. Because what, where is there no Muslims? And now the chief at the end of the day, the police is going to end up. The chief at the end of the day, 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 religion, the way we are saying, but like the youth are meeting here, youth are hype people. Allow them to meet by influencing them positively instead of negatively. And of course, schools. Schools are doing a good job. Most schools are very, very controlled. Hakuna na madawa. Actually, what we do, we are not doing What we do, most people use drugs when they are not in school. That's what we know. And of course, by the time you come now to us, this is your naitwa addiction professional. In our manisha system, we are the same. The family has failed. The community has failed. The religious has failed. The learning institution has failed, so by the time you are coming to us, it means we have now to do treatment. Who talk about Amefika Mwisho, ama who you put to Amefika, Amefika Mwisho, na kwa hivo, ita bidi to do. Praise God, Church. Umechoka sana. Amujachoka bado? Bado bado? So I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to be with you. I'm seeing it's one, I'm assuming you stop at one, that's what I'm assuming.
And uh, I'm happy to be here. So for those of you who are trying to write my number, I can say it because the end are off. My number is 0724. 0724 730 117. I do have the two four more. This was the kid office has a number, Chuka office has a number, Kiapu office has a number, the 024 is the one that I have. Okay? Thank you. Any questions before I sit down? Or comments or concerns? Addiction is a brain disease. It can get any one of us. Mental health is with us. We need to understand signs of mental health that you take you to Mapema. Like any other disease, it is manageable, especially depression. Depression is the easiest disease to treat when it comes to mental health. Because as in it is a bit complicated, like bipolar, schizophrenia, but depression is very easy. Any questions? Any questions? One or two? You have a question? Thank you. Thank you. You give her this. Yeah, so that you are able to 
whatever we have learned, pray about it, share it with our loved ones, and I believe we are better people. Thank you very much. Umetokoa na kutuisha, umetuganga na kutulisha, watimiliza mambo yetu, bwana. Watu sambe, watu oko watu, na tuise tu. Wadhili sako, bwana, niza milele, mateno yako kwetu, ni maku. Fadili zako bwana Nizamilele Mateno yako kwetu Ni maku Ile ema yako tu Ni kusuri lako Ibi nili nyoni sababu yako Ile ema yako tu Ni kusuri lako Angalia tulipotoka Tulipotoka Mbali Umetuzingi la pande zote Kono wako umetutoa mahali Si salama Wewe ndiwe mungu Wama isha ya mungu Ile ema yako tu Nikusuri la Kusudi lako ni naishi leo 